Now, the nation of Antigua and Barbuda was the final stop on the tour of the Commonwealth in celebration of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee by His Royal Highness Prince Edward, the Earl of Wessex, and Her Royal Highness Princess, Princess Edward, the Countess of Wessex. The royal couple spent the day touring the Nelson's Dockyard, the Interpretation Center, and participated in a brief tree planting ceremony before a gala evening. Charlene Beezer has more. A day of touring, tree planting, and a taste of our history for His Royal Highness Prince Edward, the Earl of Wessex, and Her Royal Highness Sophie, the Countess of Wessex, culminated in a state dinner at the Millery Club, hosted by the Governor General of Antigua and Barbuda, Dame Louise Lake Tack. According to Her Excellency, although independent for 30 years, the nation still shares a rewarding relationship with Great Britain. She highlights the relationship. We still look admiringly towards Great Britain and our Northern Ireland as our allies, as well as for the firm social, economic, and cultural connections between our nations. We are proudly English-speaking people, governed by democratically elected pol politicians sitting in a British-style parliament in St. John's, instituting statutes to deliver the rule of law to the citizens. Our indefatigable friendship has fused our nations together, and for 60 years, under the watchful eye of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, the Queen. <clears throat> the Governor General thanked Her Majesty for sending their Royal Highnesses and hoped they remember fondly their stay in Antigua and Barbuda. A very elated His Royal Highness, Prince Edward, the Earl of Wessex, while relaying the Queen's message, said the Queen has been watching with great interest all the achievements of the islands. The Queen extends her warmest wishes to you all, but, but obviously a very particular um, wishes to the people of, of Antigua and Barbuda. And, and as you all know, she takes a very special interest. She is immensely touched by your loyalty, that you continue to want her to be your Queen and your Head of State. And she takes that uh, very seriously. And her affection towards you remains as strong and as constant as the day 60 years ago when she exceeded the throne and pledged to dedicate her life to the service of the people of her realms and territories. And that's precisely what she continues to do to this day. The 60th year of her reign, Her Majesty wishes me to convey her fervent prayer that God's blessings will continue to fall upon the people of Antigua and Barbuda and that success will accompany all your national endeavours now and, and into the future. President of the Mill Reef Club, Ralph Isham, was very pleased to host the royal couple and details the club's relationship with the nation. On behalf of Mill Reef, let me say how honoured we are to have you as guests at Mill Reef tonight. When I first spoke to the Governor General several months ago, she proposed that she host a lunch at Mill Reef, which we were very happy to do. But that somehow we did something right along the way and lunch became the Jubilee dinner. We've hosted your Royal Highness's brother, Prince Andrew, on a couple of occasions at the Bassett House. We have a rich and storied background. But most of all, we've been lucky to be the recipient of many Antiguan acts of friendship over the years. We feel a strong bond to the country and its people. They've been very generous to us. A grand fireworks display closed off the gala event. Sherilyn Beasley reporting for ABS News.